Let's get more now on this developing situation in uh, South Sudan. We're joined here in studio by George Musamali, a security expert. Thank you for joining us here on uh, Africa Live. Now, we are receiving reports here of uh, casualties in the fighting in South Sudan. Was there any indication, though, that the fighting would go on? Uh, there was indication because uh, we are looking at a situation whereby we have uh, the army that is divided. We have people that are still support loyal to the government, and part of the army is right now loyal to the rebels under Dr. Rick Mashar. So this is something that was expected, despite the president having coming out clearly, saying that uh, the coup plotters had been uh, subdued. So this was expected since yesterday. How fluid is this situation, though? And, and what kind of threat or dangers does it pose for the domestic uh, situation internally in South Sudan? Uh, the situation is very fluid, and we are getting report that uh, we are not only seeing casualties on the side of the military, but civilians have also been affected, and very many civilians are now seeking refugee in the UN camps because uh, the situation outside there on the street is very volatile. And uh, these rebels, uh, plus the government soldiers, are not discriminating. They're not only killing fellow soldiers, but they're also targeting civilians. So this is a situation that, if not contained early enough, is going to get out of the control. And we are going to see a situation in southern Sudan where we are going to have a very serious military conflict. So how, how, how bad uh, are we looking at uh, in this situation, though? Because we are talking about both civilian casualties, we are talking about uh, casualties on the sides of the soldiers. How bad can it get? And, or, or is it likely to be contained in the next few days, for instance? I'm not seeing this being contained very soon uh, because uh, you realize that uh, Dr. Machar also has a very large following. And basically, these are not people that are going to give up very easily. And I'm also seeing the regional players being uh, dragged into this conflict because uh, the reports we're receiving is that uh, uh, the government soldiers are actually targeting people from other countries, especially Ugandans. Uh, as by yesterday, 10 Ugandans were killed when a bus that was heading to Kampala was attacked. And today we've also received reports that they're dragging Ugandans out of trucks that are heading out of uh, Juba and killing them. So we are seeing a situation whereby the neighboring countries are going to be dragged into con this conflict and it's actually going to take a very long time before the situation, this situation can be contained. You've talked about uh, the, the situation now, or the soldiers or the civilians, whoever is targeting uh, civilians from other countries. Why is this? Why target the Ugandans? Why targeting the Kenyans? Uh, we are seeing a situation whereby these people feel like uh, the rebels had a support from neighboring countries, especially Uganda, because Uganda was initially accused of even having in, being involved in the killing of uh, Dr. John Garang. And uh, you see, we've had situations whereby Kenyans also in uh, Juba have been targeted, and uh, very many of them have been killed. And I think this offers the rebels an opportunity, or even the government soldiers an opportunity, of trying to get rid of these people in southern Sudan that are believed to have been taken over have taken over business opportunities that are supposed to be run by the Southern Sudan themselves. All right. Uh, finally, though, what do we know about the situation of Dr. Riek Mashar? Uh, so far, we've not had any report about his whereabouts. But uh, yesterday, we had information that he was uh, he had taken refugee in uh, a UN camp, which was not identified. So we've not had any reports that uh, he has been arrested or anything about his whereabouts up to this moment. All right, uh, George Musamali, security expert. We'll leave it there for the moment. Thank you very much for joining us here on uh, Africa Live.